2018 Bentley Continental Supersports more exciting than space travel for the final song on their delightfully buoyant and mordant 1996 album This is a long drive for someone with nothing to think about, Pacific Northwest indie rock band Modest Mouse penned an even more cynical response to David Bowie's already nihilistic ode to interstellar flight, Space Oddity The song imagines the life of a lonely female passenger on a flight to some distant lunar satellite, lost in post-gravitational enemy, she's the only rocketeer in the whole damn place slash they gave her a mirror so she could talk to her face. Dreading the endless blankness of her voyage as much as the senseless achievement of reaching its destination, the unnamed woman wishes she could just read a dime store novel and return home. It is titled, poignantly, Space Travel is Boring. We recently visited the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA's literal launch pad for the Apollo missions and the Space Shuttle. Since there are currently no rockets going up, Space Florida's shuttle landing facility did us the favor and allowed us to use the 3.5-mile long runway built for the shuttle literally, the longest stretch of underutilized, perfectly straight, perfectly paved roadway in the world for a series of automotive maneuvers. Our vehicle of choice was the $293,300 2018 Bentley Continental Supersports. This was decidedly not boring. The Supersports is an enhanced version of an already extremely potent vehicle. Featuring an upgraded crankshaft, torque converter, and turbochargers for more power and improved power delivery, the Supersports 6.0-liter W12 engine produces an even 700 horsepower and 750 lbft of torque. That makes this the most powerful and fastest Bentley ever made. 60 miles per hour is dispatched in 3.4 seconds on the way to a maximum velocity of 209 miles per hour. The largest carbon ceramic brakes of any production car come as standard equipment, as do carbon fiber hood vents, front splitter and rear air diffuser, side trim, and a plain long board of a rear wing. Handsome 21-inch lightweight forged wheels are also part of the package, though, really, weight savings is almost irrelevant in this vehicle. The Super Sports weighs over 2.5 tons, or about as much as one of the tread belt shoes on the diesel-slash-electric crawler used to tug the 70-million pound space shuttle and its boosters out onto Canaveral's runway. We were tugged out onto the runway as well, though in a slightly different fashion. Like a solid booster rocket, which can be lit, but not extinguished, the Super Sports features a preternatural and uncanny capacity for thrust. We had the chance to experience this in a series of maneuvers on the concrete strip, including a high-speed slalom and accident avoidance course. These were also designed to show off the Super's trip, brake-based torque vectoring system, borrowed from the GT3R racer, an intervention that is as eerie and seamless as the ones on reality TV or not. Centerpiece of our adventure was a top speed run. For this, we started at one end of the empty roadbed and simply kept the throttle in until we ran out of, well, space. The Super Sports never lets up. Our co pilot, a professional Bentley race driver, called out our speeds in 20 and then 10 mile per hour increments once we passed 100. By the time he said the same word, about two miles in, indicating our need to ease off.
people react under intense pressure, how engineering is capable of overcoming superhuman challenges, and what may or may not happen once we transcend the fervent boundaries of the known. Kind of like venturing into space.